Side on. Now that we've all been immersed in loving vibrations with those elevating bhajans, let's take a moment to reflect with gratitude on this sacred journey of being a part of the Sri Satya Sai Global Council. We've been blessed to have been present from the inception of another monumental launch in this Sri Satya Sai mission with this auspicious inauguration on Guru Purnima, the 21st of July, 2021, when we formed the Sri Satya Sai Global Council. This venture continues the tradition of the Sai organizational structure that's always been rooted in and guided from Prashanti Nilayam. Starting back on the 21st of October, 1961, when Swami declared that he is, quote, launching a Seva Samidhi, unquote. And then with the start of worldwide centers from the mid 1960s, with the first World Conference of Sri Satya Sai Seva organizations held in Mumbai in May of 1968, and then with the formation of the Sri Satya Sai Central Trust in September of 1972. The Sri Satya Sai Global Council officially unites all of these official organizational bodies under one umbrella, remaining connected to Prashanti which Swami has emphasized would always be the epicenter for his great mission. So our zone one family of countries from Canada, the US and nations of the West Indies are coming together with gratitude to be a part of this noble venture. We started out in July with a team of senior zonal advisors who helped guide the initial selection of our national and regional officers. Three principles that all of us have been and will continue to guide this uh, venture are those of one, unity, two, opportunity, and three, connectivity. We wanna keep that spirit of unity that binds all side devotees together. Swami has always been for unity. We wanna make opportunity to give all who want to serve in Swami's organization a chance to serve and follow their passion. We wanna create a space for everyone. And also connectivity, of course, our inner personal connectivity to Swami, a connectivity to his teachings and a connectivity to the worldwide Sai community that's rooted in Prashanti Nilayam. Our Sai centers have always been the core and focus of the organization. Also jointly with the constant remembrance that Swami lies in the heart of every individual, and that person has a, their own heart-to-heart -heart connection with Swami. Our center activities, consisting of our devotional singing and study circles and children's classes and service projects, have all been going on with such dedication and love and sacrifice. And the goal has been always to increase our focus more and more on Swami and his teachings. So many programs have been taking place over these past four months since our inception. We've all gotten together and submitted gratitude letters to Swami from devotees throughout our zone. These are being collected and will be delivered and offered at the Holy Mahasamadhi and Prashanti Nilayam. The entire zone is currently preparing for a historic first zone one pathway to Prashanti Purti pilgrimage that will take place from July 10th to 17th, 2022. The children's program, Sai Educare, Blossoming the Divinity Within has been developed with in-person and online programs, all based on the core human values present in all cultures and traditions, and using, of course, Swami and his teachings as the focus. The young adults have been a priority with vice chair positions set aside for a young adult on each of our zonal committees, with zonal wide programs such as town halls and open mic sessions being conducted, and with the development of an awareness course, a human values in the workplace course, and a leadership course that are all being planned and hopefully with certifications from the Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning. A thousand and a sadhana program has been developed and launched, which devotees are all participating in as we speak, leading up to a zone-wide pilgrimage that we're gonna have, as well as the grand centennial celebrations that will be held in Prashanti on November 23rd, 2025. An inspiring retreat was held on Labor Day with keynote speakers, Mr. Nimish Pandya and Mrs. Kamala Pandya, 
as well as Mr. Sai Surendranath. We had our normal, wonderful retreat activities of praying, singing, meditating, uh, all together. We had an outstanding series, Awake, Unite, and Inspire, featuring interviews with eminent devotees that has been well-received as a weekly program aired on international radio. We formed 11 zonal committees that are further uniting all the countries and devotees in our region, connecting our zone and giving opportunity for those to share their expertise and bring guidance for Swami's teachings into every aspect of our lives. A zonal disaster relief committee has been busy coordinating drives to help hurricane victims in Haiti, to form a helpline to assist hurricane victims in the state of Louisiana, as well as a drive to collect needs for items for the Louisiana victims. They've also collected a national database of disaster volunteers. Our zonal medical committee has obtained approval from the medical directors of each of Swami's hospitals for our own healthcare professionals to serve in rotations. They've also discussed collaboration with the Indian Organization for Service in Mobile Clinics, as well as with various districts throughout the country of India, as well as obtain approval from the ashram for con conducting medical camps for both Guru Purnima and Swami's birthday in 2022. We already have a volunteer database of over 55 healthcare professionals willing to join in these ventures with the opportunity for many, many more to come and join over the ensuing months. Our Veda's Sacred Chance Committee has celebrated the Dasara Festival by featuring a nightly week-long program highlighting chants from throughout our zone, along with speakers describing Swami's teachings and experiences regarding the Vedas. They're currently developing a resource guide and plan for facilitating the learning and chanting of Vedas for all interested devotees. The Sacramento Sai Center will be conducting an Ati Rudra Mahayagna on April, which will commence with an offering of all registered names at Bhagwan's Lotus Feet on November 23rd to seek his blessings. All are invited to attend this grand event for world peace. A zonal ladies wing has been formed to unite women under the Sai banner to understand and implement Swami's invaluable teachings for and about women. A zonal cultural integration and outlook committee has been formed to help explore and enhance engagement with people from a variety of cultures, backgrounds, and religions. A zonal social justice committee has been formed to provide a forum to discuss important societal issues that impact our lives, of course, using Swami's teachings as the foundation. A zonal call sci committee has formed and has been busy at work completing a network of volunteers to connect devotees willing to serve members. And they're gonna be officially launching this project on this very birthday, November 23rd. A zonal EHV and Sai tutoring committee has been formed to help develop and enhance the dissemination of Swami's human values to our communities. A zonal educational programs committee is currently collaborating with other zones to develop educational programs in conjunction with Sri Satya Sai University for the young adults. A zonal green team has formed to educate and implement awareness of environmentally related issues to recommend tips and best practices for devotees to use at side functions, at the workplace and at home. And they also are officially launching a website and their projects on our website this birthday. The Zonal Media and Tech Committee has been working ceaselessly with over 25 expert volunteers in various fields, assisting all the officers, the committee chairs and the devotees, as well as with launching and maintaining our websites and online programs, as well as collaborating with the website teams from Prashanti Nilium. And of course, without them, we would not all be having this wonderful program for today. And a newsletter team is officially launching and sending out their first edition as an offering to Bhagwan again on this birthday. So it's hard to believe that barely four months have transpired as we go back and reflect on this amazing volume and quality of loving service that the devotees have dedicated to developing Swami's organization. As I sit here, I'm just amazingly humbled at all the work that's been 
going on around me. Bhagwan's grace and leelas have been abundant, sending the right people at the right time, appearing to devotees in dreams to offer them guidance, clearing obstacle after obstacle. He's made it clearly evident that he is the provider and the doer. And it is only by his guidance and his grace that any of this was made possible. So let's continue to collectively pray to Swami for more opportunities to unite and serve, to make this beautiful world a happy, healthy, and holy abode. So let's continue with our program. Next up, we will have our National President of Trinidad, Krishna Ramatur, introducing our very special keynote speaker, who will be in conversation with National President of USA, Balu Karanam. The conversation will be followed by the sacred Jula ceremony. Jula means swing. Year after year, this has been one of the most significant aspects of Swami's birthday celebrations. On the evening of each birthday celebration, Bhagwan used to sit on a beautifully decorated jula while renowned artists performed as the jula was swung gently. Today, as we celebrate Bhagwan's birthday, we will have the jula program while talented musicians from our Sai family perform. The jula ceremony will then be followed by National President of Canada, Aruna Suvendram, who will give the vote of thanks. So let's all sit back and enjoy the program. Jay Sairam. 